today we're going to be mixing calcium chloride to make brine. Today we're going to learn how to make brine out of calcium chloride. We use calcium chloride to chill our product. The reason we use calcium chloride is because it does not freeze and we're able to bring it down to negative temperatures. We usually put it down to negative 30. Alright, first things first, you want to fill up your tank with water. We're going to be mixing brand new calcium chloride to make brine. So the way you start it off is by adding water. We're going to fill up this tank about half waist. And we'll go ahead and turn it on. And we'll start our circulation. And we'll go ahead and throw in our first bag. Okay, first things first. You want to throw on a set of gloves. This is calcium chloride, salt. Uh, it will dry out your skin big time. Okay. Okay, so each bag weighs a total of 50 pounds. We're going to be adding four bags to our batch. The reason we want to stand up our bag is that way we never lose count and we always make sure that we have four on our batch. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and get started. Just pull out your knife or razor blade, whatever you have uh, to cut this open. Let's go ahead and make a uh, small incision, just like so. That way you always have a controlled flow of the calcium chloride going inside the tank. You never want to throw this in there, full bag open, and toss it in there because what happens when you add sugar to a cup full of water? It turns into rock at the bottom until you mix it up, right? So, pretty much the same thing. Uh, this calcium chloride is tiny little pellets. And you can see it's all over my glove already. So that's why uh, you want to wear gloves. So let's go ahead and throw this bad boy inside the tank. So we're going to be adding four bags, a total of 50 pounds, 100, 200. That tank's going to hold a total of 200 pounds of calcium chloride per batch. Alright, so after you bring your bag of calcium chloride, which is pretty heavy, uh, you're going to go ahead and put it inside the tank. Notice how it's a constant flow due to that small incision we did. Perfect. So we'll let that mix for five minutes and then we'll throw in the next bag. We'll let the next bag mix for another five minutes. We'll throw in the next bag, additional five. We'll throw in the next bag, and so forth. After we're done, we'll go ahead and send it over to the main tank and create a new batch. Sweet. All right, so while you're waiting for that other batch to mix, or that first bag, what you want to do is go ahead and prep your next bag. So what you want to do is simply open up your knife and uh, repeat the process. Small piece. Doesn't need to be big at all. After five minutes have passed and you bring your bag up here, go ahead and just toss it inside the tank. So 
So we'll go ahead and let that mix for additional five minutes and we'll throw in the next bag. All right, so while the other bag is mixing, you wanna go ahead and prep the next bag. And just wait the five minutes and throw that bag in. After the five minutes have passed, go ahead and grab the other bag and throw it inside the mix sink. Even though you have a control flow, you always want to throw the bag in there nice and slow so you don't clog up the motor and mess it up. Alright, we're down to our last bag. So we're going to go ahead and prep this one as well while the other one's mixing. Wait the additional five minutes. So this one's prepped and ready to go. Once you have your last bag up here, just go ahead and throw it in there after the five minutes have passed. Since this will be the last bag, we're going to go ahead and let this mix for about a good half hour and then we'll send it over to the main tank and let it circulate inside in there. Inside the main tank, we have a floor pump to pump from the floor and send it inside or to circulate. So what we're going to do is go ahead and turn on this pump, open up the uh, valve here on top, and open up the return valve, close the send off valve, and let it circulate. So let's go ahead and do that now. It's circulating now. And up here you can see it circulating. Okay, ev after everything has properly mixed in this tank, what you're gonna do is close the circulation valve and open up the flow to the tank. There it's now flowing the product, the brine, into the main tank. The main tank is already circulating, so it's gonna mix with, with the old and the new. After all the brine is gone, what you're gonna do is close this valve and turn off the pump. Now we're going to add it with water and create a new batch and let the main tank circulate. We're going to let this circulate for a good two to three hours. All right, after we're finished making the brine, we have to rinse out the tank. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up this bottom valve here. We're gonna turn on our water hose and let the circulation circulate and wash itself out.
Okay, the water is running in there. The motor is circulating and rinsing the tank out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how brine is created by calcium chloride. Thank you for watching how to make brine out of calcium chloride. Are you ready to get started? If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you. Have a good day.